As I mentioned in the previous video, it's autumn, it's that time of year when you rock out cocktails that just give you a cuddle and a squeeze inside, they fill you with happy sort of festive memories. Uh, the last one we rocked out some pumpkin, uh, pumpkin spice syrup in this video. It's another one of my favourite kind of autumnal, winterish kind of uh, cocktail ingredients. We're going for some gingerbread syrup. So coming up are three awesome ones you can make at home on your pubs and bars. We're going to be featuring some warmed up apple juice. We're going to be doing a kind of creamy one. But we're also getting a bit kind of tiki, tropical. Tiki is a bit of a stretch, but a bit tropical for you as well. Because who says you can't have fun in the autumn? So for your first cocktail, I'm gonna show you kind of a mold gingerbread if you like. We're going for the whole sort of warm apple juice. Uh, I've got, got DMF, Dead Man's Fingers, a spiced rum. A decent kind of traditional spiced rum, lime, vanilla kind of forward. That's what you want for this. Uh, obviously we've got this gingerbread syrup and we've got some piping hot from our friends, our friends just down the road, apple juice. We've got some of their piping hot apple juice. You could use cider to you guys in the States. You could use, in the UK, you could use real cider. Of course, you could proper cider, alcoholic. That would make it even more fun and a bit more naughty, but we're just going for the non-alcoholic pressed apple juice at the moment. Uh, and then stay tuned at the end. I'm gonna try, try, and do a little funny, crazy garnish for you. So with all kind of mold drinks, there's you know very little to them. There's no very little prep. You could even have this in a kind of urn or a kettle or whatever you want to call them. I've just got a, a warm, what do you call them? Uh, like a, a heat, a heat proof glass, I think that's the official title. We've got 50 ml of our spiced rum. Then the gingerbread syrup will be, uh, oh, it's not even open yet. We'll be, oh, I thought this was the open one. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so, so good. But this will be a just the taste. 15 ml, 25 ml, I'm going 15 ml. If you want more, add more. And then we are going for our Pressed, our local apple juice, our pressed apple juice. Uh, and I reckon 70, 75, you know, you could just top up to be fair, but let's let's just see how far we get by measuring. Bear in mind, this is piping on. Ow! 50 mil double bubble. <laughs> and there we go, 20. You know, add the rest of the thing in there, look. So we've got about 100 mil. You could go more if you wanted to. And just to, just to kind of top it up, so we've got a foolish glass. There we go, bit more apple juice. And then, now I've not really done this before, but I saw this kind of cool and I thought this might work. I did it in the previous video for you. I've got prepped, what I've got prepped in here is I'm gonna do a foam. I've got the ODK uh, Stillabunt foamers uh, for you there. I've got some, I've actually got gingerbread syrup in, uh, cinnamon syrup in this, sorry, and uh, just water. And we're gonna kind of do a dry shake and we're just gonna see if we can layer a foam on top of something hot. I've never done it before, watch this space. Right, that's all nice and foamy and frothy. I thought, you know what, I better have a little try of this before I put this on top, just in case. Oh, that's so good. Spiced rum, it does what it says on the tin, spiced rum, apple, the gingerbread comes through. That's really good. Right, where's my spoon? I might not need the spoon, but we shall try. So you can see, I'll try not to spill it this time. I've got my foam, my froth in there. Let's go for that side. Oh, it's looking good, it's looking good. Oh, you never lose it. You never lose it. Look at that. So we've kind of got like a, a cinnamon foam on top. Mm. The aromas though. I wouldn't say it alters the drink too much because it all sits on top, but it's the aromas. You get the cinnamon notes off there now. That, let's drink it properly. Ah, oh, you see, that's where it comes to life. A little mouthful of cinnamon, followed by the kick of the rum and the apple juice. And the gingerbread, oh, that is so good. And just while I'm topping, putting the rest of the foam on top there, I just thought what you could actually do, you could grate some cinnamon on top of that as well. Or, some, or grate some, um, uh, some nutmeg or something like that on top, and that would be even better. Now for the co second cocktail, I'm gonna do a gingerbread cookie cocktail, if you like. Arguably very, very similar to the pumpkin kind of riff on the white Russian that I did in the previous video. We're just essentially swapping the two syrups out and um, I'm gonna serve it up different. I'm gonna serve it up in a martini glass. But essentially, vanilla vodka, coffee liqueur, gingerbread syrup, and again, it's just milk. I personally think a bit of half and half, half milk, half cream. You could go full cream, but as I've just proved in the previous video, actually milk does work a treat. So cocktail jobby, uh, cocktail shaker jobby, sorry. We're going for a 50 ml double bubble of your vanilla vodka. 
Uh, so just pour that in there. I'm then going for my coffee liqueur, Kahlua, a bit of fun, bit of added sweetness to it. Again, as I said in the previous video, up to you. I'm going 15 mil. If you wanna add 25 mil for a bit of extra sweetness, again, it's not gonna ruin the cocktail, but I am just going 15 mil. And then we go for the gingerbread syrup, which again will be 15 mil for me, one five, half an ounce. And then the last ingredient is obviously, in our case, milk, but half a half, whatever you've got. And we want a 50 mil double bubble of this. Right then, we're gonna fill cocktail shaker with plenty of ice. And then it's your daily workout routine. 10 to 12 seconds, hard and fast shake. I get this question all the time. Steve, my cocktails don't froth up properly. I say it in every single video. Hard and fast shake, not this. Up here, proper welly. So 10 to 12 seconds, proper welly. And then to serve this up, I have got this martini glass. I need to take the label off. I think I've pretty much stolen it out of the showroom now. <laughs> Sorry, Tony. Uh, but I'm gonna double strain the last one we did in the rocks glass over ice. But I'm just gonna double strain this. There we go, look at that. Lovely. That'll do for now. And then, I know I said my admin failed with gingerbread and men, but I did get, and they're not the same, but I did get some ginger biscuits, because I do like a ginger biscuit. I've got a few at home. You know, it's bought and paid for. Uh, so I've, I'm just gonna, just gonna grate a kind of little, a little ginger biscuit over the top as a garnish. Oh, that is just proper nice. Actually, very different to the pumpkin um, white Russian that I did. It's essentially a white Russian, but very, very different. The, the gingerbread kind of gives it a really completely different notes with the vanilla vodka. That, oh, I don't know which one I prefer. They're so different. Really, really tasty though, love that. Right, and then for the third cocktail, we're going slightly more fun. I did say tiki, it's not tiki at all in the slightest. More tropical, bit of fun. Very close to a colada, if you like. I did uh, a, a pumpkin pina colada last year. This, you know, we call this, call it a whatever, a gingerbread. What have I called it? Gingerbread tiki cocktail. A gingerbread colada, let's go for. So I've got, um, I've got my rum, I'm just going for a gold rum there. I've got my gingerbread syrup, I've got some coconut puree, lime, brand new bottle of Angostura bitters that I've invested in. Uh, we've got uh, my guys just over the road, Cambridge Juice Company have, uh, they've got orange juice as well. Uh, but apparently um, they don't grow the oranges, they is um, Seville, where does it come from? I forget, Clementines, Valencia, there we go. Uh, but apparently we can't, they don't, they can't grow pineapples over the road near us. I don't know why, Cambridge Juice Company, you need to sort it out, grow some pineapples. So I've just got some pressed pineapple juice from Tesco's. Now this would work if you wanted to blend it down, but we're gonna shake it up. So let's crack that Havana Especial. Oh, I need to wash this out. That still had milk in it from the previous cocktail. So we're going for a 50 ml double bubble of your rum. We're then going for, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do 50 ml. I was just gonna say, I I'm, you might be able to get away with 25. I don't think so. I think that'd be a bit too sweet, but one five, 15 ml, half an ounce of gingerbread syrup. I'm then gonna do uh, my coconut puree. Lovely, glad this is now back in stock. And uh, we're going for 25 ml of a coconut. Can you see that look? Lovely. 25 ml of coconut puree. While I've got the jigger in my hand, I might as well do this as well. So pineapple juice, we're going for a 50 ml double bubble of pressed, not from concentrate, you want proper, proper pressed pineapple juice. Because uh, it tastes better. Uh, so 50 ml double bubble of that. We're then gonna get some lovely kind of orange and clementine juice. I love, I've drunk this for years, this stuff. Uh, so it's available in all our coffee shops around here. That's, that's why I know it so well. So we've got 50 ml of uh, orange and clementine juice. Then it's, uh, we're gonna get Angostura bitters time. They're kind of like your seasoning. So I'm going for two dashes uh, for this. This should be perfect. One, two, three. It's a brand new bottle. They don't come out as fast as a half empty one. And I have to say, I'm going for the lime juice now, but I have to say, even though all those ingredients that are coming through there, the one big note is the gingerbread syrup. That is amazing coming off there. Oh. Right, I want 15 ml, half an ounce of lime juice, which is gonna take two of those that can go on the floor. Yeah, another one of those. Yeah, we'll do a half. So one, one and three quarters of a lime, essentially. There we go. We're then going for plenty of ice in our cocktail shaker, and then hard and fast shake, 10 to 12 seconds. 
Right, and then to serve this up, I'm going to stick with this again. I need to take labor. I think I've pretty much stolen these glasses out of the showroom. They can live in here now. They're more important in the studio. Uh, just going to do a shake and dump. And then I've actually got a pineapple here. So I'm going to garnish with a pineapple wedge and two pineapple leaves, pineapple spears, pineapple fronds. Oh, that is so good. Who says you can't have your fun gingerbread notes? that come out with the coconut. I, I, the really, really, the pumpkin and coconut last year was amazing. The gingerbread in the coconut is equally as amazing. It's just a fun tropical gin, uh, a fun drop, I can't even talk now, fun tropical drink um, with this kind of sort of autumnal notes coming through. That is proper delicious. So there we go, boys and girls. In the comments below, dive in, let me know which one is your favorite. And if you've got any alternative recipes for gingerbread or if you make your own gingerbread, let us know in the comments below. If you want even more autumnal recipes, right there, boys and girls, right there.